Hey everyone! So I've got a small haul for you. It's kind of skincare and makeup. Um, so I did actually film some of this stuff last weekend and then I deleted it from my camera accidentally. So yeah. First thing I got was a foundation. I went, I twittered on Friday about I think I have dry skin and I needed a foundation and I got so many recommendations that I got a bit kind of confused. Um, so I went to Clinique and she gave me, she gave me this one to try. It's the Super Moisture Makeup. I love this stuff. It's a dewy finish which I love. I've got it on today and it looks, kind of makes your skin look really healthy and I really like this. She gave me number five which is Bisque which is kind of like one of the lightest colours. I'm very pale. Pale and proud. So yeah, the next thing I got was the three step system. Um, I was nearly going to buy this last year in Sephora and then I didn't so I was going to get it this year in Sephora but I got it yesterday so whatever. So basically the three step system is three different steps of skincare. The first thing you have is the facial soap. By the way if you want to try this go into Clinique and ask them to kind of assess your skin. They have to kind of make sure they give you the right one for your skin because there's different kinds. There's a different, there's, I think there's four different clarifying lotions and there's a lotion, I mean a, yeah, a lotion and a gel for the moisturiser. So just make sure you're getting what you need. Um, so I got the, everyone gets the liquid facial soap. This does not take off your makeup, so you take off your makeup first, then you use this and this kind of really cleanses your skin. Um, you just use it like you wet your face and then lather it, you use half a pump and that's enough. Then I got the clarifying lotion. I got number two because my skin is dry in combination. This is a gentle exfoliating lotion it says. It's kind of, I'm not sure about it because I used it last night and then I woke up this morning and my face was slightly red. Not like really red, not, nothing to panic about but um, I think it was this just because this is very strong. You don't put it anywhere near your eyes and even when you have it here your eyes are kind of stinging from the fumes. It smells so strong. It smells like... Oh god, it actually smells like vodka which makes me feel sick. Ew. So yeah, um, if you started using the three step system, can you let me know how your skin reacted when you started using it just so I know. I have a feeling it's just because my skin is not used to having such a deep clean. Um, so that, yeah, then you get a moisturiser. I got the lotion. You can get a gel, which is for oily skin. So I really like this. So I'm really excited to try that. She said, um, she booked me in for an appointment in two weeks time and she wants to see how my skin is reacting. Then if all goes well with that, I will be back in two months time to see if my skin has, she used the word upgraded, like if it's upgraded to something else, if I need a different set to see what it's doing because I want the summer I want this summer for my skin to be nice enough so in Florida I don't have to wear makeup so fingers crossed it works then I got a seven day scrub cream because I've got a lot of um I had a lot of blackheads on my nose and from using this and my um three step system once one night my nose is like seriously 50% of them are gone which I think is amazing I mean all the stuff I've been using to cleanse my face mustn't have been doing a very good job because I used that once and my nose is so different. When I used to do that on my nose, it was really rough, which was all the little blackheads. Now when I do it, my nose is smooth. And I'm having to try so hard not to touch my nose because I don't want to make it worse, like, again, but... Oh my god, my nose is like a normal nose. Woohoo! So the last thing I got in Clinique was a blusher. This is the blusher she used on me and I loved it. It's number 114 Iced Lotus and I really don't like their packaging. It's pretty until you touch it. It's like a mirror and then you touch it and you get fingerprints all over it and I'm very OCD about things like that. I hate fingerprints. So it looks like this. You get a little brush and this is it here. It's like, do you see that? It's an X-Files box set. My camera's sitting on it. I'm a geek. But I would like to be a geek in my own house. So anyway, it's a nice kind of iced pink colour. I have it on today, but um, yeah. Why am I even bothering saying this? But you probably can't see it, because you never can. 
Um, so yeah, that's all I got in Clinique. Then I went to Boots and I got a Elnet hairspray. It's a really big one because the one I have is like this size. Oh, I need to sneeze. Mm. And it's tiny compared against this one. This is my favorite hairspray ever. I use the Extra Strength Flexible Hold, which is the white bottle with the blue strip. Um, I use it when I do my hair like this. I kind of just wave the ends and it'll hold the wave in all day long but it make it keeps your hair being like bouncy and soft, it doesn't make it hard so I really like this. Plus it brushes out if you brush it, it'll just fall out so. Then I got the Aussie Volume 2 in 1 Shampoo and Conditioner which is in the bathroom because I forgot to get it. But I also got the Aussie Volume Conditioning Mousse. I really like both those things, I use them today and I really like them. Plus the mousse has... Oh, such a nice smell. It's like peaches or something. It's just like fruity smell. So then I think that's... Oh no. Then I went and got a pseudo creme in a little tubey. I saw... Oh. My throat went weird. I saw in a magazine Cheryl Cole used this for her spot. So I thought I would try it if I ever got like a spot. You just put this on overnight and it kind of heals it. It's like an antiseptic cream if you don't know what it is. Then I got a Neutrogena Norwegian Formula 6 Hour Protection Lip Balm. This is weird. It kind of goes on like um, like a lip balm and then it dries and kind of leaves like a second, like a, like a coating on your lips. You know if you eat something or drink something weird and you get like a coating on the top, like the, the roof of your mouth. Do you ever get that? That's what this does to your lips. It kind of leaves them with like a coating, which I suppose is the protection, like, not, like if you're out in the wind or whatever it's kind of protecting your lips which is good I suppose. Then I got the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara and I really like it. I've used it today. Um, it's a really weird brush. I didn't know the brush looked like this. It's kind of like a curved brush and it's got, it's like a really fat one. It's got like a curve. So you just use it like against your lashes like that. The only thing is because the brush is so big it doesn't really get my corners very well and I like to kind of drag my corners out to make them look like bigger. So I used my um, lash stiletto for that. Then I went to Boots and got a Natural Collection lip balm, lip gloss. This is my favourite lip gloss ever. I love it. It's, uh, it's called Fondant and it's like a really light kind of beigey kind of a neutral kind of color. This is it here. It's just like a really nice color. It goes on nude. It kind of gives you that nice nude color. Um, this is $1.99 so I really recommend this. I love it. $1.99. I mean you really can't beat that. Okay so then I got a few nail polishes. As if you've noticed my multicolored nails that's why. Because I've got swatches for you. The first one is Urban Princess, which looks like this. I love this color. I don't know if you can see it, the light's kind of shining on it. It's a nice Barbie baby pink color, you know, like the, the light Barbie color. That's it there. I really, really like it. Then I got Pop Rose, which is like this. It's just a darker pink. If you imagine Barbie and you you can picture the two Barbie colours as like a darker pink and a babier pink, that's what these are. They're like the exact same colours. So that's that one. So those two. Then I got, my mum actually bought me this as a wee present which was nice of her. I got Mint Chalk Chip from Seventeen. And this really, really reminds me of the Essie one. What is it? Um, the Essie colour is called something mint isn't it? I can't remember. But it looks like this. I think it's actually basically exactly the same colour. I really like it. It's kind of like a Tiffany blue, only it's got no green in it. Tiffany's kind of a greeny blue. The next one is a lemony colour called Sherbet Lemon. It looks like this. It's actually lighter than it looks in camera. It's like a really kind of pastel colour. All of these are pastel colours, except the two pink ones. And then I got Parma Violet, which is this one. And this is a pink toned violet. I've got so many blue toned violets that it's nice to have a pink toned one. And then I got Orange Soda, which is like this. And it's a nice orange coral colour. 
Yeah, I don't know what way you're going to be able to see those because when I watch them on camera, they're like, they're not right. So, um, yeah. So I think that's all the makeup I got last week. I went to Urban Decay and I got a bronzer. It's the baked bronzer. It's really, really pretty. It's got like a shimmer to it, but it looks really natural. And then the whole reason I went to Urban Decay was I got the Alice palette from Urban Decay. Um, I'm not going to take it out just because I think you're probably all sick of it. You've probably seen it. If you love it, you've probably got it. So, But you get 16 eyeshadows, 2 eyeliners and the cutest little mini um, primer potion. So I'm probably going to do a tutorial on it using Jabberwocky, which is the black one. <laughs> Jabberwocky, I think that's like the funniest word. Well, actually, it's the second funniest word because this actually has my favourite word as well, which is the other colour I'm going to use, and it's mushroom. Mushroom is my favourite word ever. I think it's so funny. Mushroom. It's the, it's the ush, ushroom, ushroom. <laughs> I think it's funny. I'm a, I'm, I'm a geek. I really am. So, yeah, if you want to see this, then just leave me a comment and I will do a review on it. Um, like an in-depth review, in-depth review. So, that's all of my... Oh, I forgot this. When I went to Clinique, oops. When I went to Clinique, she gave me a free gift. And it's this here. It's a Betty Jackson flat for Clinique. And you got some wee products in it. First thing you got was a makeup remover for lids, lashes, and lips. Which looks like this. It's one of these ones that you have to shake it because you've got like the oils and the what is it? Like the oils and the liquid part? I don't know. But you shake it and then you use it. I used it last night and I wasn't that impressed. It leaves my skin really, like a really oily residue behind. But um, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to give it another chance. So that's that. You get a mascara, high impact mascara. A lipstick in ready to wear, which is a red. That scares me, that colour. I'm not a red person. Although I'm glad I have it because I'm going to um, I'm going to do a tutorial doing bright red lips and like loads of black eyeliner and big black lashes like kind of a Hollywood, old Hollywood siren kind of a look. Then you get a little blush called Sunset Glow which looks like this. It's a nice kind of um, tan kind of colour. I'm going to use it in the summer because I think it would be really nice. Then you get a duo eyeshadow which again is this shiny packaging mirrored material which gets fingerprints all over it but it looks like this so you've got like an all over colour which is like a beige and then you've got a creased colour which is brown so I really like these they're very much my kind of colour and then you just get a little blusher brush tiny wee one so yeah that was such a nice gift to get I didn't know you got a free gift so I was happy with that so that's my whole um, makeup, skincare kind of haul. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do a jewellery one. And then I've got Lush. So I'll probably do the jewellery and the Lush together. So yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye.